Hi, this is Charles Guarino. As you go to the IBM Developer Works page for the RDI Developer Hub, you'll see that they just announced, they being IBM, they just announced this past week RDI version 9.6. You can see it right here, which is pretty cool. And this is the, again, the Developer Hub screen. What I decided to do is just create a short little video here and kick the tires on, on some of the some of the uh, new features. I'm not going to cover all of them. There are there are plenty. So when you go look at the new release, you'll always see they have a fix list. And in the fix list, you'll see here's the fix the fix list for 9.6. They always start with the RFEs, and the RFEs are the request for enhancements, and that's the RFE community. You can go to the IBM RFE community, and you can actually post your own request for enhancements. If you think RDI or RPG or many other products are lacking a particular feature, you can go there, you get a free login, and you can post your request, and then other people who log in can see your request, and they can then vote on it. And that helps give IBM some idea of what's going on in the community. So on the fixed list now for 9.6, as you can see over here, they always start with the with the RFEs that have been delivered in this current release. And I, I again, I'll just go through a couple of them so you can get some some flavor of what, what's going on over here. You can see there's a lot here. And then, of course, below that, all these, what I'm pointing to right over here, these are actual fixes and patches that have been made to the product since the last update has come out. So let's go Let's go through a couple of these. What, I, what I'm going to show you is 9.5 and then 9.6, as you can see how it was actually delivered. So let me switch to 9.5 so you can see what I'm doing here. So what I what I have here is I have two instances of RDI open. I have RDI 9.5.1.2, which we're looking at right now, and I'll just confirm that here by going to the help and going to about RDI, and sure enough, there it is, 9.5.1.2, as you can see that right there. And I opened up this program. I've duplicated this program so I can open it up on both versions of RDI. So in this in this version here, it ends with a number one, and in the 9.2 version, I'm, I'm sorry, 9.6 version, it ends with a number two. So this is just a, a standard SQL program, SQL RPG program. But what I find interesting is as soon as I open it up in 9.6, which I'm going to copy over now to my screen right here. Here it is. And I'm going to show you what how this looks differently. But let me try that again. Here it is. This is now that same program, but it has a 2 at the end of it. And you'll notice that immediately I have these new things here, which were not in the old version. And what these are are these little tick marks here. And it's really helpful. These are now clearly identifying to me what is not being used in the code. In the outline view, previously, there was this nice feature here which said hide unreferenced definitions. And if I went to my fields, if I clicked on that, it would, if I, if I clicked on that, it was a toggle, it would hide and then unhide or show the un, unreferenced fields. Well, in 9.6, they've gone one step further. And what they've done for us is not only, not only from the outline view, but now they've identified right in the source code with these little um, information eyes over here. If you hover over that, it's telling me in this, in this uh, case right here, this data structure, you can see the name of it right there, is not being used. So it's a real easy way to look at your source code and help you find out quickly what's not being used. And of course, on the right side, now these new boxes here also, I can click on these and they will also identify Again, some, another thing is not being used. So here I have a procedure called update uh, UPD cont, which is a constant. And you can see what it's doing over here. And there's that, that information again, not being used. So this is not the actual first RFE in the RFE list, but I thought it was worth pointing out because it's the first thing that, that looks different when you open up the source members. It's really neat. And you can just keep, you can go through them like this. And there's a way to turn this off. If you read the RFE, it tells you how you can turn these things on and off as you like. I think this is going to be extremely helpful, and I'm looking forward to doing a lot more maintenance with this. It might become very helpful as we work towards modernization, getting rid of dead code. So this might be something that you may want to look at.